You know, the real pimp, the real man who groomed the world is Barack Obama. And I, I've said it for, I'm, on this channel, you can, you can, I've got, I reserve the right to make videos about Obama because I've been covering Obama for as long as I've been on the internet. There's something to miss about him right from the start because I'd never heard of him. I mean, it's not like, well, John, you're not, um, you're not, you know, you're not so savvy as you might think. Yeah, it's like, kidding me? So I'm a single guy, man. <laughs> He's like, you know, I spend a lot of time in front of the internet. I'm an avid reader and I do keep up to date and I've got a memory like an elephant. And it's like, where the fuck has this guy come from? And what's he promising to do? unifying figure this will be the best thing ever for race relations in this country he played the race card to get elected and then he played the race card when he was in power and everyone had already decided who he was and uh he was like a, a in a way he, he, he was a, a hijacker he was a messiah figure he was uh he was a, a con man to the max uh, people say to me, it's like, uh, I'll get the odd person who's uh, superstitious in that way, he'll throw at me saying, do you think we're in danger of something like the Antichrist or something like that, this, uh, a bad second coming? I'm like, oh, don't worry about that. Why? Well, it's already happened. Barack Obama became president of the United States. The, 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 the biggest con man of the lot, nobody, None of us know anything about Barack Obama and what you can go and find out about him. All ghost written, fiction. There's people got close to the full story of what Obama is. The closest to Obama is Judge Joe Brown. Be keen to see what Joe has got to say about him being exposed as a homosexual because he'd been going around saying he was for a good long time. Now, Judge Joe used to be a big player at Paramount Television, and then he wasn't. He was a big star on TV. He was like the, the black guy, Judge Judy. Judge Joe, a fantastic uh, judge and lawyer. Great legal mind, very intelligent man. An extremely interesting fellow, a man who's very good at telling stories. And... Respected, respectable. You know, an officer of the court. Stories he tells about Obama, only he gets away with telling them. And all it's cost him is his television career. Talking about Obama. And he was, he's an old guy, he's about 80, so I mean, he was a price he was willing to pay. But he was someone who was like old enough to say, well, you know, I'm probably ready to retire anyway. Maybe now's the time I tell some truth. But Judge Joe's close. Others who've got close have been removed from the internet. And I was talking the other day to someone who's very savvy, who knows more people who are politically active and the like than I do. Someone who's got good networks, knows people. And I asked her, uh, I asked her, do you know who Charles C. Johnson is? No. Gotnews.com. It's like he's the guy who dug up that Malik Obama. He's the guy who's been... Um, <laughs> uh, who was in the past hot on the, t hot on the trail of working out that Barack Obama is a cover identity, not even a real person. Is it like a deep plant cover identity? And he um, he managed to, what was on the internet for literally days, days it was on the internet, was a student film made by Barack Obama. It was like a documentary that had been made about Barack Obama and Michelle Obama going back to their roots, back to Kenya, back to the town where his father was from and it's like this is absurd it's like he, he went over there he, these people did not know him they had nothing in common with him 
what? Bemused. And, you know, he's there mouthing off, giving little bits of speeches. It's just great to be back where, where it all started. You know? Who the fuck are you? Absurd. You know, he, he's walking around. He's a kid who, who's been raised in, you know, real luxury. And a bit of a shanty town full of chickens. And it's like, this is where my father lived. <laughs> really? It's like, throw it in YouTube or Google, see if you can find it, that. Obama returns to Kenya. It's, a, it's like contrived, staged. Made about 20, probably about 25 years ago. And that Malik Obama would be like, who the fuck is this guy? You are putting a black mark on my family by saying that my dad fathered a bastard on a whore. And he didn't. So he brings shame down on the name Obama and he's, they're like, he isn't one of us. We don't know who he is. We've got no idea who this guy is. He's someone who came along once on a bit of an holiday and made a bit of a video documenting. That's all there is of him. Charles C. Johnson found all there is of him. His writings, because he's an academic. Supposedly he's gone from academia, never had a real job, academia to politics. Is the only professor at Harvard who's never had any, never had any students. No one's ever come forward to say that uh, Barack Obama taught me congressional law, which he was supposedly a professor in. Nobody. But there's plenty of people who've come forward in the past and said, yeah, I remember Barry from college. You mean Barry Satoro? Yeah, I remember Barry. He was a drug dealer. He would uh, do anything for a bag of cocaine, excuse me. And like, the first one who was really onto him, who spoke to all these people who were making claims to see you, we know him from college. He wasn't called Barack Obama, we know him. He's called Barry Satoro. The tales they were telling about him made it so in the end Pastor Manning, you can't find any real trace of him on the internet now other than the Young Turks videos up mocking him. They're still there. The Young Turks almost be part of the Obama um, intelligence ring. They, they've always been the number one defenders of Barack Obama's honour. So you'll find a Pastor Manning now. He was the guy, kind of, the, the long-legged Mac Daddy. And what does a long-legged Mac Daddy mean? It's like this is a grifter who got to the very top. Just an ordinary street grifter who's got all the way to the top. He's the con man who's got further than anyone's ever got before. Barack Obama. You know, I'll play an audio. <clears throat> right, this is from... The video I found, I'm not going to put it on screen, I'll just leave my mug up. I'll just play the audio, I'm not hiding anything from you. You can go and look it up, it's called... <laughs> You'll like this. It's called, Obama, Obama's Uncle Liberated Auschwitz? Question mark. It's from 15 years ago, but it's actually much older than that. This is from about 2005. This is Senator Obama's Campaigns. And this is him talking to a crowd of Jews. Uh, I had a uncle who was one of the, um, who was part of the first American troops to go into Auschwitz and liberate the concentration camps. And the story in our family was is that when he came home, he just went up into the, into the attic and he didn't leave the house for six months. Right, so he became Anne Frank. Right, why is that bullshit? 
his uncle, he used to attribute his uncle with all kinds of great feats. His uncle's like fucking Dan Durr, Buck Rogers and Flash Gordon all rolled into one. These stories, before he got the uh, people around him to protect him, before he got the people to, to tell him to shut the fuck up, he used to rattle on like that all the time. And now the thing is with that, who lies like that, right? Because to this day, American troops have never been to Auschwitz. Certainly didn't get anywhere near liberating it. Auschwitz was in Poland. It was liberated by the Russians. We didn't, as the Western world, know very much about Auschwitz until years, till like decades later. We used to, in this country, used to talk about Belsen because we'd liberated that. Auschwitz came to the public consciousness in the 1970s. Yeah, Barack Obama says his uncle helped liberate it, and that is impossible. His, bro his uncle was not in the Red Army. So then, when I first heard this, because I heard this like when it was around, because this got re-reported, they would have it people, what a hero this guy Obama is, his uncle helped liberate Auschwitz. So this is, is this is a CNN, CNN video this. And they played it up, this is great. Ran with it. And it, it takes just someone who knows just a small amount of history to say, who lies like that? Two questions I ask when I hear lies. Who likes like that? Who lies like that? And why lie like that? If I've caught you lying like that, why? Why take a risk of getting shown up as a shyster for just something to say? And to my mind, that's kind of a character flaw that I've always been wise to in people. And in them times, I was exceptionally switched on to. Does that be my guide? Who, why and who lies like that to brag? Can't you just talk about something else? Why brag like that to me? Why brag like that to anyone? When someone's gonna come along and say, you're full of shit, that's impossible, why are you lying? So when I catch that trait in people, they're done. You're a compulsive liar. I'm never going to believe anything you say. And to me, that's it then. You're done. And in my mind, to me, Obama's been done like that since the start. I never let that go. I remember people who tell outrageous lies. To brag. To build themselves up to be bigger than they are. Bragging, it's like... If you're going to tell lies, tell good lies that can't be disproven. As soon as somebody told me that I had a visitation from the Holy Spirit, then my uncle liberated Auschwitz. Because I can't disprove the visitation, can I? I can either take it as whatever I want. I can decide they're lying. I can decide they're hallucinating. I can, but it doesn't matter. They can say it. And I can't disprove it, can I? I can disprove that Obama's uncle liberated Auschwitz. I can make a case. Just me, with what I know, I can sit and pull that apart. Right, ask more questions of Barack, but this has never been raised again. The lies he sold. So I've made my mind up about him from a, the start. And nothing he's ever done has convinced me otherwise. And every step he ever took just convinced me even more that he was someone who will lie to get ahead. Just to, just to win at any cost. Will reach for a lie and reach for a lie. Who lies like that in the internet age when you can just be found out like that? Someone decides to go and check the original video. Someone decides to check the records. And you're done, you're a liar. So why lie like that when it's so easy for people to catch you? All they've got to do is check, find out for themselves.
It's like the internet, liars really do thrive on the internet. But also liars get absolutely hammered on the internet as well. It's all about the willingness to go and have a look for yourself and say, you know, there's something amiss about this guy. There's a lot of stories been told about him. Most of the people who've told stories about him are unearthed things that have been uh, <laughs> worthy of questioning about Obama have just disappeared from the internet or are dead. But I remember it all. He might have been taken off the internet, but I remember it. You can't take it out of my head. So it's like there's not too many people out there who will even entertain the thought that, I, that Obama was a fake, a con man, a completely unfit to be president of the United States. And in some ways, the worst thing that could possibly happen to the world, uh, and just a, a chancer who belongs to people who've got the goods on him, the guy who used to sell him crack could always go to the press and say, here's me and Barry in a few photos. We used to, I used to sell him crack, yeah. Another guy comes along, oh, I used to procure men for him. Yeah, here's the photos. Loads of people come forward like that and had all kinds of photographic evidence and stuff like that of him being this, we know this guy and then you've got this guy in a suit. But it all disappears. They get silenced, they go missing off the internet. Or they die. And no one's even willing to go away and do the basic research. And it's like the basic research, I said, well, yeah, you've got to go to the right places. And I'll say, The last place where I had, uh, uh, you know, where, where, the, where I had, I'm like, hey, listen to this guy talk about Obama, right? Would have been Judge Joe Brown talking to Tommy Sotomayor. That was reposted on the internet twice and came down within four hours both times. Nobody wears it. You go after Obama and his army of followers those who've been conditioned to see him as a kind of messiah figure. Those who love him and really didn't pay attention to anything he did. They weren't interested in that. He was like, oh, what a fine man. He conned everyone who wasn't looking. And then, right, the trap of it was... Once he tricked the entire media, they were stuck with him because they'd backed him. So he dragged them down with him. They fell under his influence. He became a bag of shit for them to hold. They had to protect or look like the frauds they are. So it's like Barack Obama is a mass delusion. And we're still under his spell. <laughs> there are those who I don't know Obama I've never met him but there are others who've never met him who go to the wall to defend him and they know him as well as I do I'm like have you been following his moves since he first turned up no well I have well you might be lying why would I lie What possible motivation have I got to lie about Barack Obama? Do you think I could bring the guy down? Why do I have to be silenced talking about this to you in a pub or in a train station or on an aeroplane or on a little YouTube channel? Why do I have to be silenced for talking about him? It's like that Zella who hears that the, one of their heroes is actually a creep who tricked them all. Won't even entertain it. Because these chances see so much of him in themselves. There's a real wicked spirit around Obama. And we see it every time 
that walk weapons used because it was him. It was his technique. Everyone uses Obama's technique to escape from criticism, which is to accuse your accuser of being racist, homophobic. So like, if you think of it, the world could be said to be a construct that's designed to protect one person from prosecution for his crimes. And do you know who that one person is? Barack Obama. Who's to say that on those emails, Hunter Biden, that the big guy wasn't Barack Obama? And that'd be the big secret, that'd be the big one they're hiding. So when <laughs> accelerationists, because that's what I think Tucker is, Tucker Carlson, when he wheels out, oh, Larry Sinclair, who's been, he's been singing for about 15 years about Obama. Singing to anyone who will listen to him. And no one's ever tried to stop him. No one's ever tried to sue him. He's saying the cut-off men between him and Barack Obama, who threatened him and told him to shut up, are now dead. Barack Obama's chef apparently drowned about a month ago in uh, like two feet of water. And if you look at him, he looked like a, a, a perfectly healthy, uh, fine-looking gay blind man. It's like, could this be the time? It's like, I'm telling you. It's like, if you want to bring down the woke cult, you have to take out its leader or its talisman or its figurehead. The one who taught them how to fight. The John Connor of the woke movement. It's Barack Obama. Barack Obama.